Then we went to Atlanta. I didn't film Atlanta just because we were only there for a couple of hours visiting family. And now we're in Panama City Beach. So we're here for two days. Yesterday I just chilled. Oh, by the way, my name is Sam. <laughs> if you're new here. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. But yeah, so we're gonna have a day here. Unfortunately, it's like kind of gonna rain later. But right now we have a window where I'm gonna lay on the boot. I'm gonna Right now we have a window where I'm gonna try and shoot some outfits. Yesterday when we got here, I just laid on the beach and read and stuff. And we actually did some sun, which was nice. So I'm kind of glad that I got to chill a little bit. Also, this pimple has literally been here. Since, and I have a hero patch on it, but it's still this bad. This pimple's been here since Charlotte. So it's come on this road trip with me all the way to here. Um, uh, but let me show you our view. We're staying at the Holiday Inn in Panama City Beach. And it's actually so nice. Like way more than I expected. Look. So we have this balcony situation, right? And then here are some palm trees and check out the pools. We got one pool here, one pool down there. There's like a bar. There was like a fire pit last night. So yeah, let's go eat and then we're gonna get ready and try to hit the beach. Look how much these coffee cups are coming out. They're prepared for people to come, huh? Okay, here we go for breakfast. Hi, um, if you guys are looking for a skin, hair, and nail vitamin and Nutrafol, if you're watching this, please sponsor me because I got my hair done a month ago and my hair does grow fast, but like not this fast. And I started taking Nutrafol and look how fast my hair grew in a month. Like it grew like two inches. So if you're having trouble growing your hair out, buy Nutrafol because apparently it works really well. Too well for me with my roots, but. If you need your hair to grow, get that. Okay, I just got ready. I'm gonna try and shoot some pictures on the beach really quick. My hairstyle is actually inspired by Bella Hadid and Jenny Rhodes. So Jenny recreated this hairstyle of Bella's and I wanted to do it when I was going to the beach and I really think it's really cute. It's just like four braided pigtails. My first objective is to try to shoot on that leg first day. I'm gonna leave like a little window of sun so I'm gonna try and soak up the beach while we're here. And then afterwards, probably gonna like go to the gym and just chill and maybe watch like Jersey Shore or something and answer emails but we're gonna head down there and hopefully we get some good photos My mom is being a trooper. She's trying to help me shoot these pictures really quick before it starts to rain. We are getting a little bit of sun, which is nice, but I do have a few bathing suits to shoot for a couple companies, so I wanna try and get a little bit of that in before the rest of the day. She just ran up to the room, but I'm waiting for her. I just did an outfit change. This um, bikini is from Black Bow Swim, and I have a post due for them, so I wanna make sure that I can try and shoot this before the weather, but I really am liking this hotel lot. There's like an indoor swimming pool too, too. So like there's gonna be a lot here to do today even if it does rain and stuff But yeah, and I also have this prop Look at this camera is this is from literally goodwill. I got it for two bucks so Hopefully we can do something with that. Okay, my beautiful mother here just helped me shoot a couple photos If there's any good ones, I'll put them right here But it's so windy so I'm gonna talk to you guys when we get back to the room And we're gonna try and take a beach walk before the rain comes. Okay, so I was just watching Housewives and doing emails But the sun came out so the fam and I are about to head down to the pool and probably read my book a little bit Maybe take a nap in the sun Um, but yeah, they have like a lazy river pool and a regular pool and a hot tub So everything that I possibly could need and free breakfast, which was awesome. We are going to the shrimp basket for dinner tonight. I have a collab, it's right down the street. And we met some people last night that went there and they said there's all you can eat shrimp. So I'm excited for that too. Look how cute my parents are basking in the sunshine. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here, maybe take a cat nap and read my book. I'm currently reading 
Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have not been into reading literally like since middle school. I'm not kidding. I don't think I, I think I finished one or two books in high school ever. I never finished one in college. So this is the second book that I've read in 2023. It's my goal to read at least one book a month. And last month, I got back into reading by reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So if you're not into reading and you want to be, I highly suggest this author. She's amazing. I love the books. Um, and now I'm like a reader again, which is crazy. But it's really good for my mental health, I think, because being like um, on my phone all the time and then like to unwind, I would like watch TV like Housewives or something. But I was just like looking at screens all day long and like I really think that like putting that away and reading when I wake up and when I go to bed has like improved my mental health so so much so yeah highly recommend reading especially if you are in a career where you're on a computer all the time or on your phone a lot I think it's really been helping me a lot this has been so nice like I just know that I'm supposed to live near the beach I told my parents today it's been a goal of mine always to eventually own something where I can see the ocean from where I'm sleeping and in our hotel we can right now but I mean like eventually you know but the sun did come out for us I am gonna hit the gym in a little bit before we head to dinner I'm trying to stay on track with my workouts and do a little bit harder of exercises now that my ankles feeling a bit better I gained like five pounds I think like since I hurt my ankle so I'm trying to get back to my normal weight in a healthy way but um, yeah i can definitely like see it you know how like you can see yourself first when you gain a little bit of weight so but it's okay nothing crazy nothing that we can't handle i love this lifeguard stand though like i said earlier i got a couple pictures of that i got a couple pictures just standing on the beach and i did try and take one with some palm trees over there so make sure you follow me on instagram to see those they'll definitely be up by the time this vlog is but this is our first time in panama city beach and i do really like it the strip that we're on right now is mainly like hotels and a few restaurants like it does look like a big spring break spot honestly like i could definitely see a lot of kids coming down here for spring break but there's like three restaurants around us the shrimp basket which i'm working with tonight harpoon harry's and hooters and we went to hooters yesterday for dinner and it was really good i got um what did i get oh i got fish tacos and they were awesome we'll keep you posted on how dinner is tonight Okay, we are off to the shrimp basket for dinner. I just got um, a little workout in at the gym. I did the 12, 3.30. I think that's the order you say it in. Um, the incline trend that everyone's doing. I really like that workout. This bag is from Amazon. I will link it below. This is like the best beach bag to bring anywhere. It fits a lot. Um, this shirt, I think is from Shop 12th Tribe. These are some of my favorite jeans. They're Levi's, also from Amazon. And then my Levi's said trucker jacket. We're doing a Canadian tuxedo. My hair is so frizzy. I have to brush it before we leave. But yeah. We're gonna get some shrimp. All right, guys, we just got our appetizers. We ordered the Boom Boom shrimp. It looks amazing. And we got a shrimp cocktail as well. Bon appetit. The shrimp so far, like actually 10 out of 10. The Boom Boom shrimp is a little bit hot though. But I'm like kind of, um, what's the word? Sensitive to hot stuff. But it's really good. Just need a glass of water, you know? Freddie at the shrimp basket was talking to my dad about how he likes a light soda with a dark liquor. And my dad said he likes Diet Coke with Jack. And now he's trying what he made it. Different, honey? Yeah, it's different. <laughs> but Freddie's trying to convince him to drink something else because my dad only drinks Jack and Diet. All, like, that's all he drinks. So my parents got crab cakes and I got the black and red fish. And it looks so good. I'm so excited. So this may be the first time I've ever had red fish but it's very, very good. And I don't know what kind of sauce situation is on here, but it's so good. It almost tastes like lobster bisque, and it's over rice. 10 out of 10, I would give this a 10 out of 10, and I don't normally say that, I really don't, but this is really good. And we can't forget dessert. All right, Dad, you wanna do the honors and get a piece out for the camera? Look at that, folks. Yeah, there you go. This taste us. Good morning guys, I am currently getting ready for us to uh, venture to our next destination. The next stop on our road trip is Lake Mary. Um, we have friends that live there, so we're gonna stay with them for a few days and then head to Disney. I am a shrimp basket 
stand that was just like a random collab because like we were just in the area and i just like found them and thought that it looked cute there and it was such a fun restaurant like the manager was talking to us like the whole time like i love just like hometown like vibes like that like a small restaurant bar it was like kind of like a cutie beach shack but like that's like my favorite kind of place um and the food was amazing so we had a really great night and then we just came back and kind of went to bed like i did some emails and just kind of chilled but i did go to the gym this morning and now i'm just doing my makeup i'm using the ilia skin tint i think that's what it's called and i want to love it i really do but if you have more of like an oily based skin um, I would say this is definitely not for you. My skin is more like combination. It's not even like that oily and I feel like it like slips and slides Like I feel like throughout the day it kind of slips off. This pimple is driving me absolutely insane So my dermatologist told me to stop eating processed sugar like literally stop and I love sweets So I didn't really take it seriously, but this right here I don't know if you can see it. It was like a really bad pimple and then she gave me a shot and now not only is it like a scar but it's kind of like a dent in my face and this pimple is like kind of like a cyst too so now it's like I'm kind of like have no other choice but to stop eating sugar if I want to not get scars on my face. <laughs> so I guess that's like the only way I would have stopped though anyway because I love it so much. So we're trying right now like yesterday was the first day I really made conscious choices and like efforts to not eat sugar or process carbs because I just looked online and they say like processed sugar and carbs like processed carbs are the two biggest um contributors to acne so i'm gonna see if changing my diet helps because honestly it's like i shouldn't really be eating those things anyway so um hopefully making those switches will help but dude i mean it is so hard not to eat that stuff like you guys know like they always tell you that you should eat like all whole foods and stuff and like literally if you think about it the only things that are like not processed literally are like whole foods like that like this morning for breakfast i did like oatmeal with walnuts and i didn't want to put sugar in it so i did splenda and then like a yogurt but like that still has sugar in it but besides that everything there was like pancakes and bagels and all of that so i really wanted a biscuit but i didn't so i'm really trying to make an effort to make my skin better and i have also been drinking a lot of coconut water at least before i left for this trip so i'm gonna try and get some of that and continue with that because when i was doing it i had a few people tell me my skin looks really good and ask me what i was doing so i think that that also helps a lot so our next leg like, of the trip the drive is going to be like six hours which is honestly like more than we've had to do so far the driving really hasn't been that bad we've been breaking it up pretty well at the end of this trip i'm gonna make a vlog too on like the route that we took from jersey to florida because i think we like mapped it out pretty well well my dad did at least i didn't really have much to contribute to that but i definitely would do it again based on how it's gone so far but yeah this is like my first road trip it's definitely it's also like the first trip like this we've taken as a family we've done like trips like we come to florida like literally every year twice a year but we've never driven here but it's like really nice to have your car once you're here 